Well, now, Catherine was proclaimed Empress Regnant, Empress Catherine II. She was 34. Uh, the assassins were rewarded and sent away, most of them. And she was an admirer of Peter the Great and loved Russia. You know, during that 16 years, when she'd lived as Grand Duchess and trying to avoid her husband, she had been learning about Russia. She absolutely loved Russia, and she loved the Russians. She learned the language. She studied their culture. She read about them. She was their history, everything. It just she loved it. She was outgoing. She incorporated them as friends and and uh, went out to see them and so on and so forth. She wrote letters to the editor about how to rear your children and how to conduct your family life. Those of us who are childless are experts on that subject. <laughs> and you know, she was. She talked progressive talk. She is what today we call a Cadillac liberal. Do you know what that is? Oh, we're all good Republicans here, aren't we? <laughs> right. What? Did I? <laughs> well, a Cadillac liberal, for those of you who are innocent of these things, is someone who is well informed about all the social progressive ideas and concepts and programs and talks the line of that and, and lives comfortably, usually. Um, but is not very careful about her payment of the maids or his conduct of the gardener or, or doing really something useful for people in the bottom rungs. It, you know, you talk a line, but you don't do anything, is the point. She was one of the enlightened despots, Frederick the Great of Prussia, with whom she was in constant contact. They were both Prussians and maybe related. Uh, he was also a progressive man. He fought all the wars that uh, threw Europe into a stir all the time, but he was a brilliant man. Washington was in contact with him all the time about military affairs. Uh, Voltaire came to live with Catherine the Great. Uh, this is the age of enlightenment. All these monarchs are considered enlightened. Madame Pompadour was not a monarch, but she was next to it. And in England, there were progressives. This was a very enlightened era for people at the top with education and advantage. And she was one of them. But, in fact, her regime was just as repressive as all of those that went before or came after. The surf system was still the base economy and dreadful. And her son. Oh, now, she hadn't had anything to do with her son for about eight years. Now he was back. What the hell was she going to do with him? They didn't know each other. He loved his mommy Elizabeth. Well, of course, this grew into a bitter hatred. They absolutely detested each other at the end of his, or her life. 